What is up guys, my name of course is Carlo and welcome yet to another video and I'm going to quickly show you how to create particles using the brand new trap code Particular 14 uh, by Red Giant. Now, I've got a piece of uh, black magic footage here, a little bit graded, 2.5k and yeah, it's not the best example for footage uh, to add particles uh, but it's the only footage I had so Hopefully this is going to uh, show you exactly what you can use particles for or how to add particles using trap code uh, in your production. Obviously, uh, you know, you'd use it to be fit the scene that you shot if there's a fire or there's smoke, so on and so on. But I'm just going to show you using this footage anyway. Um, same sort of thing. It's just going to add uh, the particle, uh, particle uh, look over the top of it. So I've created a new comp, obviously, through my or through my footage in so I'm going to create a new solid and call that uh, part um, you can call it whatever you want make comp size click OK and then what we're going to do is we're going to add the brand new trap code uh, particular 14 which is insane now the new look is RG uh, trap code so we're going to click on that and let that load up and then instantly what happens is it gives you a little thing in the middle uh, like you've just seen there uh, but we don't want to use that okay we don't want to use that we want to create our own particle effects uh, in this uh, uh, for this scene shall I say so particular's got an excellent new design platform um, which allows you to create your own particles all you're going to do is you're going to click on uh, the design and I've got it on my second screen at the moment so I've got to bring it over uh, so sorry about that and it's basically going to give you this now this is where you're going to customize and create your particles um whatever sort of style you want whatever color you want so on and so on and if you go and put the arrows here you've got uh, presets so if i click on dust which is a really really good one uh, for particles um, if it's snowing for instance um i could add this into a scene uh, so on and so on so say you wanted to add this sort of look so make it look like it's snowing um basically um down this side here you've got uh, a settings window under here so you can change the way the emitter or the particle um, acts by adding it to your set pieces here so i'm gonna just reduce the particles in seconds uh we could bring it up or we can bring it down so I'm gonna to go to say a hundred let's just delete this and basically creating particles is basically experimenting yeah as I brought this to a hundred um, it's less than the particles um, on the screen so I think that's too much so I'm just gonna reduce that down now um, to wherever I want and the great thing about this is you can you can you make the size bigger you can make it slower you can change the emitter style um, of it so you can have it as a point like so so it's coming from an object um, you can have it into a box which is like that uh, a layer grid uh, which is like that um, and so on and so on so I'm gonna put it back to box like so and basically just keep it like that now if i go into color obviously i can customize the color of the emitter to whatever color i want so i can go to that click ok and my emitters change color not yet it hasn't because <laughs> i haven't done it so let's go to this one click ok and now as you can see there my emitter is um like an orange but i can randomize the color by pumping this up and what this has done this is given a really lovely um emitter um effect um and will do uh, to the scene so down here we've got the particle rotation size uh the particle type we can change um you know the look of it i mean this is an excellent one for like fire um, we could bring the randomness down to that so it's more like randomized uh, so on and so on glow size we can bring the glow down so it's less glow so if you're creating like a fire 
for instance um, yeah you can um, add that sort of effect so if I go to screen add that and now say for instance I'm finished I can just click apply and now what that's going to do guys it's going to add the particle on there you can't see nothing until you play it back and now if you look carefully um, there you can see uh, the particles uh, in our scene uh, which is pretty cool if you want to um, you know fix it you know you can just double click on it and you can play around with you know how this particle will look if you want to jump back into designer um, you can and just play around with um, the overall look tone color density you know how you want it so I'll just change that back to white um, if I was to create uh, Let's go to um, the meta type. If I go to point, for instance, um, I could sort of like make it look like it's there's water coming out of the um, thing. So let's, you know, but we've already got water, so I'm talking crap. So I do apologise. Um, and it's basically, you know, once you do this, you can actually uh, render this out on its own. So if I keep that, for instance, like that, and click apply. Um, go back to my comp um, now I've got the white particles in it but I could sort of shut my video off and I could render that as a standard video um, by itself and use that um, as an overlay you know if I wanted to use that by itself I could just go um, blend mode and then say for inside the same below it but it does it by itself anyway and then I can add it to a screen yeah so say for instance um, I wasn't using this this particular particle i want to use it for something else i could just um put the blend mode screen in you know other editing systems or like final cut whatever um and just use it as it is but yeah that's that's basically it it's 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 really cool um it's a really good effect um i could sort of slow this down if i wanted to go to uh, layer uh, time time stretch and then i could punch out to say 500 click OK on that and now what that's done is made the uh, particles a lot slower so if I play that back now when it starts you can see the particles just there very very faintly um, coming in I've got it set as star at the moment so if I go back to my design my designer um, I've got the look of it set as a star and I could just change that here to like a sphere so it's all circles um, I could change it to like a sprite um, if I want to you know add my own picture my own sprites to it um, I could add that um, you could it's, it's no limit to what you can do on this it's, it's just absolutely insanely insanely good uh, feather, the, feather the particles out add and yeah just play around with it and start designing um, your own uh, particle system which is pretty cool so we could put it as bounce so it's just floating around like that that's more like snow um, which is cool um, if I was to apply that now um, and just play that back let's go to fit screen and play that back we're gonna start getting you could just see it it's very very faint there yeah and I think that's the idea of um, particles. You don't want it too, um, too in your face. It's just got to be there. You can see it there. Um, just be there on the screen, but not um, too much. Um, unless you're doing like a fire. If you do like a fire, you know, the place is on fire, for instance, and we go to color, just change that color to like a fiery scene up here around with the look of it say for instance you wanted that yeah and then you you can change particle type to whatever you want sphere like so that one's quite nice uh, get the size like so bring the size up and randomize it big time punch it right up um, smoothness uh, rotation speed let's just bring the speed down spin the rotation speed like that let's just bring this right down so it's slow and then you was to apply that 
boom, you've got, you know, little particles, as you can see there, like fire element, do you know what I mean, which I think would look pretty, pretty cool in your productions. So, as always, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, a like rating would definitely, definitely be appreciated, and I hope somehow this has helped you out. Um, I do recommend head over to Red Giant. Um, I will put a link in the description below. Pick up Particular 14. It's absolutely insanely cool. Um, and, yeah, the it's just amazing, the limitations. You know, there's no limitations to what you, you can sort of achieve um, with this uh, with this plugin. So, as always, guys, thank you for listening. And if you're not subscribed to the Film at VFX Studios channel, Hit that subscribe button. And as always, your like ratings are always appreciated. And, well, I've just said, I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, guys.